Okay, guys, this is the video you have been waiting for. We are going to make PlayStation 3 controllers work with your PC or laptop on Windows. Perfect. This time, if you follow the steps that I'm about to tell you, and this version or this method that I'm about to tell you today is completely different from the last one that I told you that for some of you, unfortunately, disabled other Bluetooth devices or it stopped working, etc., etc. This one, I really did some digging and I really found some stuff that worked and I installed it, I uninstalled it, installed it again, tried it and all the methods and it works alongside all other Bluetooth devices completely seamless and you don't need to leave any script running on the background. And with that said, let's go on with a first step on installing this one. It's very important to follow these steps as I say them and show them on this video. Go to your search bar and search for UAC, which stands for User Account Control. UAC, here we go. Change User Account Control, click yes when prompted. Usually, in general, it stays here, this bar that you see right here on the screen. Drag it to the very top and then click OK and hit yes when prompted. This part is done. Now, the second one, this is a must, a must. We go to this side right here. I will leave a link in the description. We go to this side right here. And this is a Bluetooth support, BTH PS3 chain lo change lock. Go to the bottom and choose for 64, 64 bit or 86 for 32 bit. Most computers today are 64 bit. So I'm going to go with 64 bit, download it, and I'm going to drop it here on my uh, screen. So we have everything right here. As you see, that's the Bluetooth support. We click install this one first. I accept, click install, click yes when prompted, click finish. It will uh, ask us to restart the computer. Go ahead and restart the computer at this point. You must restart and we'll come back when it restarts. And now we are back from uh, the restart. And as you see here on your screen, I have quite a few remotes or controllers. One of them is going to be DualShock 3 6 axis. The other one is going to be 6 axis. The other one is going to be DualShock 3 6 axis like this one. And the fourth one just a regular PlayStation 3 that looks quite generic to me. I will show you that they all work with this method and this is why I'm making a big effort to make sure that this works. And uh, here I'm going to try my trust the red one go ahead and plug it into your computer and leave it plugged in now let's go to the other website let me put this on the side right here and now we have to install the driver itself after we install the bluetooth driver we go on the bottom of the site and it's uh, right here that it says dshid mini dot zip click on it download it Minimize this site and uh, let me open this folder and put this one on my uh, desktop too. I'm going to open a folder and just type PS3. It doesn't matter if you put PS3 or anything else, but just to make sure that we don't mistake what we're doing here. Open in the folder, right click, and I'm going to extract them all right here. Okay. And right where we're, when we're inside here, I know you will be tempted to click this application here, but don't click it yet. We're not there yet. In here, it's a 32-bit version or 64-bit version. Choose your version. I have 64. Double-click on it. Double-click this DSHID Mini. Go inside. There's two files that we need right here to click and install. It's the setup information that says DSHID Mini and IG filter, both say setup information. When you're on top of it, go to DSHID mini first, right click and click install. Click yes when prompted, and it says successfully. Now go to IG filter, right click, go to install, click yes, and it's installed successfully. Let's go back now. Now we need to go DSHMC. Now right click, run as administrator and click yes. And as you see right here, let's unplug and plug back 
my controller and see what happens. PlayStation 3 controller, as you see on the screen. Let me add a second one, just a regular one. Right here, PlayStation 3 controller. Let me see if I have any more USBs left that you can see on camera. Let me put one of these right here. That's a third one, as you see them on the screen. Unfortunately, I don't have any more USBs here, so I'm just going to go ahead with that. And they're all now recognized. And if you go to the settings, you see here everything that you need to see. And if you click on it, you'll see your battery level. You'll see all that stuff that you need to know about it here. These are other settings that we're not going to touch on right now. And, uh, well, let me unplug one of the uh, controllers, right? Just like you would do on a... Uh, PlayStation 3, unplug it, and wait for it, just give it a second, and as you see, it came back as DS3 compatible HID device with a Bluetooth sign, that means this is now connected via Bluetooth, and now we can go ahead and game, and uh, let me try with a second one, let's unplug it, give it a second, and as you see, it came back right here as Bluetooth controller. Let's try the third one. Let's unplug it. Give it a second. And it came back as a Bluetooth controller. And now let me plug uh, the fourth one. It's plugged in, as you see right there, recognized uh, by USB. Let me unplug it if it has any battery left on it. And as you see... They are all recognized right now, and I can choose any of them or play dual player with somebody else. As you see, they are selected just like you would select them on a PlayStation 3. Let me plug back in the other ones because I need to charge them, actually. And we'll just use this red one because it has more battery than the rest. And it all will be good. And here, you will see under my camera that... Uh, if I close this one, I close this one. We don't need to leave anything open. Let me run a game. I'm just going to try BMG, uh, BMNG, whatever you call that. And let's see if this controller now will work. And I'm not sure if you can hear, but at the same time, uh, let me just show you real quick before we do anything. Bluetooth, just to show you. I have... Uh, my audio paired, I have uh, other stuff paired on the Bluetooth just to show you that I have other Bluetooth devices going on. So now we are here, and as you see, I'm moving the menus with this uh, remote here. I'm clicking OK. Let me choose any field, it doesn't matter which one, I'm just going to go with whatever I find here. And let's wait for the game to start. And this mode works and guys if you're still here please go ahead and give me a subscribe or a like if you think that i deserve it i really truly worked my butt off to find this method that finally worked so i could deliver it to all of you before the holidays and you can call this a holiday gift from me to all of you and i hope you enjoy it as i am enjoying it and as i see i am terrible at this game i'm just testing it so yes my first test is to crash the car <laughs> that's beautiful that's just perfect that is so perfect and as you see yes we are playing i don't know how to play this game very well but you get the point and uh well one more thing before i let you go please please follow the steps exactly how i did on this video that actually matters on this method. You cannot install the uh, USB drivers before the uh, Bluetooth drivers and expect it to work. That's just how this method, method works. And uh, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. And please hit like, share, subscribe, show it to your friends. And yes, it works with uh, Windows uh, 10 and 11 for now as far as i know and uh one quick thing before i leave 
Let me show you how you can install this whole thing that we installed here. If you are just tired of it or you just want to get rid of it, there is no reason to. But just in case you want to, there's a driver store here that I will leave a link on description about this too. You go to this here, driver store explorer.zip. You download it. After you download it, you will unzip it wherever you want and go here to this re R A P R. Double click it, click yes. And here, go choose what you want to uninstall. All the drivers we installed for this method are made by the same company called Nefarious Software Solutions. All these here, and you can just select them all one by one. You click force deletion and you delete drivers. I'm not going to delete them because I really took my sweet time to install this whole thing. And with that said, enjoy your PlayStation 3 on your PC with your favorite games and give me a subscribe, please. I would appreciate that. And happy holidays. This was my gift to you. Finally, I'm delivering what I promised you to find. And we'll see you next time. Bye.